Well, we cats from Artsville, we just dig that real sweet beat. Man, just button your ears that crazy sound. Truth is, this guy from Filmsville, he said for us to put our creepers in this here 4x4 and kind of chat up a slick chick who comes running when you shout the yarn. Now, she's a beatnik like you, this guy, Bow Wow, so go throw her hello, eh? No, but she's not with it, she works. Hi, we hide. But this Diane, she's a busy chick and she stays working. Now this film guy says for us to learn how she does what she does and give with the technique in English, he says. So here goes with all that formal jazz. Now, Diane, in fact, is the only girl designer of men's jewelry in the country. As such, she has steadily built up an enviable reputation. Her studio is in Clerkenwell, London, where she designs cufflinks, typings, key rings and medallions, which she later fashions in pure silver. After engraving what in this case is a medallion, Diane makes a mold by a traditional method. She saws a cuttlefish in half and rubs the halves together until they're flush. Having cut a small hollow out of one half through which the silver is later poured, she presses the engraving into the soft texture of the cuttlefish. The mold is completed when the two halves are bound together with wire. Diane no longer prepares all her own moulds, such as the demand for her work that she has found it necessary to allocate the bulk of this process to outsiders. This, of course, lessens none of the creative responsibility which rests on her shoulders. Nor would she want it to, for first and foremost, Diane is an artist proud of her ability. When the silver has set, the next stage is to trim and smooth the medallion. How smooth? Real smooth, man. At length, the finished article, together with some other best sellers. In fact, judging by the speed at which they do sell, it might almost be quicksilver.